Stack's back. Screw phase and TG. So I feel like Profiles has not been getting his respect, okay? Because Fires of Invention is just, it's in all kind of decks, running all kind of different colors, and it's Perforos' card, okay? We got to give Perforos his respect. Put some respect on his name, okay? So I'm, not, I'm all decked out in my red, you know, I got my, my red hat, my red shirt, you know, because I'm paying homage to Perforos in this video. So this is a mono red Fires build, all right? The deck is super sweet, okay? You can just, it's very explosive. You can totally annihilate an opponent out of nowhere. They can be at 20 life and then they can go from 20 life to being dead. That's how quickly this deck can kill somebody. Um, as far as a fires deck go, um, it's not the most optimal, most competitive fires build. Of course, all the other fires decks that run all the different colors are gonna have more options of finding fires and be more efficient at getting fires out. But this deck is the most explosive fires deck um, in terms of killing your opponent quickly. Uh, when Perforos was first spoiled, everybody was talking about, you know, combining him with Fires of Invention. But it never really came to fruition because it's just not um, typical fires decks don't want Perforos in it. OK, so but this deck, it utilizes Perforos. Um, and I think it's 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 a sweet deck. Um you can compete with it in the competitive scene, in the competitive levels. Um, it's just not the most optimal fires build. I'm going to be honest about that. But in my opinion, it is the most explosive. Um, so let's get into the tech. Um, so we got three Omen of the Forge for some early game removal. Uh, four Bone Crusher Giant for early game removal. And he's a giant to cast, you know, extra spells to cast. You know, you use his uh, shock portion and then he goes into exile. You can still cast him. So... Um, he these these put in some good work in the deck. Uh, four fires of invention, four Chandra fire artisan. I know we. I mean, excuse me. No, I cut that down to two. I did when I when I first brewed the deck. I had four, but then I cut it down to two. So we got two Chandra uh, fire artisan. She's good card advantage, but you don't want to see too many of her. Um, dropping her own curve with fires of invention is sometimes it's, it's sometimes blah because. Um, you don't want to uptick on her because you won't have anything. You can, you won't be able to cast anything else after you cast fires and cast her. So a lot of times you just cast her and she'll sit there until next turn. But she's valuable um, card advantage. So um, when you can get her to stick and she can stick around, she's she's great in this deck because a lot of times you'll run low on cards and she can keep you had keep you in the um, in the realm of having stuff to play. Uh, four storms wrath to clear out the board against aggro. Uh, two Perforos, uh, three uh, Raised Boar God. Uh, this guy is is great um, in this deck because if he comes down with haste from uh, Cavalier, then and you have you know other threats in your hand, and you just totally just annihilate your opponent. Um, three Ox of uh, Ogonos, uh I mean Agonos, Agonos, whatever. Ox of Agonos. That's how you say it, right? Um, English isn't my first language, in case some of you may not know. Um, but yeah, this guy hasn't been really used in a lot of decks, but, um, you know, in this deck, he's great. He's really, really great because like I said, you can, you run low on cards. He comes in, he draws you a bunch of cards. Well, draws you three cards, but a lot in a fire deck three is a lot. <laughs> so he draws you three cards and, uh, yeah, he keeps you in the game and sometimes pushes you over the hump. Sometimes he'll draw you into exactly what you need to just totally blow out your opponent um cavalier of course why not in this deck giving everything haste giving everything a pump also can let you pitch cards you don't want and draw some draw cards that you do want uh the cycling godzilla love it in this deck um it's a means of pitching card well pitching this to draw into a fires or draw into a land something that you may need and once you get this up to four um of course he comes into play for free also great with the raised boar god because it you know comes down it's a swinging trampler you know 8-8 eight, eight trampler so tough to deal with um and then draku seth maw of the flames um don't really have to say much about this card we all know it's it's just a dominating beast once it comes down and then i'm running 25 mountain so uh no sideboard this is this is a deck i strictly built for best of one um and it's a lot of fun so i'm not gonna speak on it too much more not gonna speak on it anymore actually. Let's just go into the gameplay. Yeah, can't keep this. It's doesn't look good. Alright. 
At least I got fires in this hand. It's the most important part of this deck. It, this deck doesn't have the ability to find fires like a, a normal fires deck would. So most of the time, if you have fires in your opening hand, you wanna. All right, we got some some Rakdos rush going on here. I'm gonna kill one of these. I'm gonna wait though. Um, actually, I probably should have. Instead, no. Which one do I, I want to kill this? I should kill this Whisper Seeker because uh, or Whisper Squad. I mean, because that has the ability to fetch up more from the library, which I probably should have killed it before he untapped it because he could have just uh, found one in response. But no. well, he's got another one. So, all right. Well, let me go ahead and get Bone Crusher down and defend myself. So I don't take so much damage. If you flood the board, I'm gonna uh just board wipe. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think uh board wiping is the better option here. Alright. Well Yep, I'll uh Go ahead and scry, man. Scrying is good for you. Alright. Now I can get some purple rose action going here. Cavalier. Oh, there's the cat. I was wondering where the cat was. Oh man, this is this is lovely. All three of these in my hand. All right, let's go ahead and first order business get purple down here. Oh, uh, activated the ability. I'm gonna put the maw out. Um, cast Cavalier. Activate Cavalier. Give everything haste, so Perforos can attack, and he can attack, and swing in. Uh, four damage to you, um, three damage to the Strider, and three damage to the Cat, and I'll let you keep the Goat. <laughs> you, can, you can block with the Goat if you want. Yeah. And uh, that's a wrap there. Uh, I wish I had fires, but uh, I can I can work with it. So yeah, that that definitely has to die. Um, I'll wait, see what else he does. Oh, great organization. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh. Kill the kill the knight now. Don't want him having three mana with that. So get this down for some defense. Oh, he's playing that. How much you want to bet he's got four Garys in there. All right, I'm gonna swing in. Uh, I don't want the token to be growing. I'm pretty sure he's gonna block with the to avoid taking damage. Uh, Alright, let me cycle. Hopefully I pick up a fire or a land. Alright. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna swing in. Might as well. Um, I think I just play fires and then storms wrath. Cause I don't, I don't want him getting a whole lot of stuff out with that uh midnight reaper out drawing a bunch of cards. Oh, oh, the troll. I like the troll. 
they seen one of those in there. Only time I ever see that is in the in the uh Let's go ahead and get him down. Only time I ever see the troll is in the uh hush pretty bit. Then play Cavalier. I'm gonna keep both of these because he might have some removal. So if he, if he blows up one um, at some point during the game, I want to be able to have another one. Go ahead and swing in. <clears throat> what you got, man? What you gonna do about that? Huh? Oh, I should have. I should have gave him all the, another pump. Oh well. Alright. Knew he had a Gary. It's automatic. Automatic in that deck he's playing. Alright. These ghosts are keeping the troll at bay. Uh, I think he... It's pretty much dies now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's. I think he knew it too. Uh, can't keep that. Yeah, this is better. Um, I actually want to throw the Chandra back because uh, I like I like the cyclists. I like the cycling Godzilla. Oh, Zion, Zion's playing. Zerda. Uh oh. That must mean some cycling. Yeah. Hey, I got some of those. I see you're cycling. I raised you a cycling. Oh. Alright. Let me just chill out. Got some more cycling? I got some more. That doesn't cycle. This cycles though. Alright. Up to two count. Come on man, I'm beating you in the cycle race here. You wanna play your Zerda? Gonna play your companion. Zerd is your friend. Alright. I'm gonna cycle along with you. It's a cycling party. Oh! <laughs> My cycling's better. <laughs> Go ahead and get this down now. <laughs> Go ahead. Cycle your stuff. You're falling behind here. Godzilla still at one. Alright. Uh, he's not going to block with his Zerda, I know. So I'm just... I want to get Zerda off the board. Just making all his cycling super cheap. So go ahead and kill Zerda. Alright, take this eight. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because I got the cyclist, so it's fine to keep. I like the Chandras in this deck, even though you don't really see the Chandra too often. It's actually good in this deck. Some card advantage, which is hard to come by in red. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle this now. Zelos. What you playing? What you got, man? All I have is Chandra's and Godzilla. Hmm. Is off. All right. 
That's enough lands. Kinda of flooding out here. Alright. Oh, I can't play. I can't play anything that I pull with Chandra, but I'm still gonna plus it. I wanna I wanna get loyalty up. Oh well, <laughs> another land. I'm glad I did plus it. Get that off top of the library. Don't want to be drawing that. It's eyeballing my Chandra. Want to kill my Chandra? Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Oh. I am out of here. Okay. Well, I got another one. So, man. What is going on with these lands? Sandra, please give me something other than land. You and I are gonna take them out. If we get some land, something other than lands we will. Oh, Alright. Yeah, that's, that's great. I'll discard all of these lands. Alright. Chilling on defense now. Gonna kill my ox. Gonna kill my ox. Okay. Alright, I'd I'll let Chandra take the hit and he can he can take three. <laughs> he can take three to the face. Yeah, too bad I can't like kill creatures with with the damage, but I guess I guess she would be too busted if she could do that. Then. I don't really know if that's busted though. I don't think that's busted. They could have they could have let that be an option. All right, go ahead and plus. What else I did? Right. Surprise, surprise! Another land. All right, um, go ahead and wait a minute. Um, I want to make sure I get this right here. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this and uh, play play purple rose. <clears throat> That'll give the, the boar haste. So I'll play with the boar. I'll uh, put the ox into play off of his ability and draw some more cards. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this ox back though on defense. Because uh, he might have some removal. And uh, if he kills it, I, I don't want Shandra to be eating too much damage. I want Shandra to stick around. At least I'll still have uh, peripherals up to block with. Alright, he's going to get a spirit now. And if he, if he removes the ox... He can swing with his other two, and I can block one, so Chandra will eat two damage, at least. You looking to kill, man? He's Flickering all over all my stuff. And kill nothing. You gonna do? You gonna swing at me? One one. All right. Could be cute, man. Try to. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that card in forever. It's like two years ago. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh man. Yeah, I can kill all of this stuff now. Just how do I want to do it is the question. Um, oh. Uh, yeah. Good to go. Good to go, good to go.
fake nuggets. Whoa, that's a name. <laughs> fake nuggets. Like what kind of nuggets? Chicken nuggets? Gold nuggets? Alright, cycle. Opponent's playing some bat. Some bat control, maybe? Alright. I'm not sure what he's playing, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this down so I can threaten. Have some threatening presence on the board so I can try to get a feel for what he's playing. Got fake nuggets. So many colors. So pretty. All I have is red. Go ahead and swing in, see what he does. Giant kicks you in the face for targeting him. Um, maybe I can get fire down. Counter. Counter. Okay. All right. So, bank control. Fury's a he's a lost cause here. Get him out of here. Don't make another move. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and use this instead of the we will forge. Again. Keep the forge up for his turn. Got some more control stuff? Huh? Wanna wanna exile my giant? I'm gonna go ahead and do two damage to his face now because um you know the longer the game goes on, the less likely he's gonna play something small that I can zap with the forge, so might as well have it on the field so I can use it for a scry effect. And swing in. Let's see what he does here. Oh, as soon as I say that, he plays he plays some tokens. <laughs> he doesn't block with him. Not playing one owner. I don't see red over there. So what? This is weird. What what purpose is the token serving? All right. Guess I gotta wait. And see. Oh. Oh, Deputy of Contention. Oh, man. Ain't seen him in five years. Alright. Let's see if we can clear all this stuff out of here and get my, get my Giants back. You wanna counter this? Yeah. Alright. Well, he's got to have another counter. All oh, this stuff is still going to die. Johnny. Alright. If I have to light the way, I will. Alright, now I know. Now I know what this deck is now. <laughs> this deck is like five years old. <laughs> got a counter? Got a counter? Nope. Alright, back in business. Maybe he's gonna uh, shatter the sky or something. 
Nuggets. Playing this old deck. Well, I mean, I, it's casual, so I guess it's fine. Go ahead and try. Yeah, I definitely want the ox. Go ahead and get Cavalier down. Counter? Counter? Does it resolve? Resolve? Okay. Alright. Uh, submit zero. Give everything plus one. Eight. Go! Got some instant speed tokens here. It's time to use them. I'll return something to my hand. That won't help you. Right. He's staying a while. Staying alive a while longer. Gaining a little life back. Please tell me you have something more than just tokens. You need more than just tokens to get out of this, man. Oh, Nuggets, that's not gonna get it. It's not gonna get it, Nuggets. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna get it. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and play this. Let's get zero. Same drill. Smash your tokens. Crush them. Crushing your tokens. Oh, let's keep the fire. What are you gonna try to? What are you gonna try to do? Uh, outrace me? It's not a. It's not a very productive game plan there. Oh man, he keeps on. Keeps top decking gas. Keeping them in the game. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play the ox now. Alright, play this land. Give everything the pump. I keep getting gas too. I got jet fuel. <laughs> he has a uh, barbecue pit, lighter fluid. <laughs> Come on, Nuggets. What are you gonna do, man? You roping me? Please don't tell me you're roping me. Oh, I think Nuggets is. I think he's he's going to the rope. Oh, I just wanna take this time, give a shout out to some of my favorite YouTubers out there. I like Mono Black Magic. He's one of my favorite. Uh, SBM SBMTG is one of my favorite. Shout out to Dev. I like his work. Um, let's see. Joey Moss, of course. That's my, that's my homie. That's my brother from another mother. My ninja. Um, it's all the ones I can think of right offhand that I like. Uh, oh, okay. Yay! Oh man, this is ugly. I'm gonna keep it though. Because if I can draw into my lands, I'll be good. I won't. I'll have plenty of gas. That's not a land. <laughs> I hate mulligan and then like picking up an even worse hand, so. Sometimes it's better to keep the gas and hope that you draw in the lands than throwing it back and then being flooded with lands and no gas. He's getting lands. Can I borrow some lands? Oh, I definitely need to borrow some lands. Alright, let's get that out of here. Try to keep his card advantage to a minimum there. 
Please, let me pick up a lane. Eh. Guy's gonna have card advantage. Okay. Alright. Bone Crush is putting in work. Stalling me out of this mana screw. Oh yes, I'm, I'm definitely gonna block that. <laughs> No, no, uh, no second thoughts about that one. <laughs> All right, another bone crusher. Bone crushers are putting in the business. All right, three some damage out of that. Well, actually, three four damage. <laughs> Good deal. Wait, let me get the fires down and uh, get all this crap out of here. Oh, uh, need another land though. Not out of the, not out of disaster zone yet. Okay, it's a big giant though. Um. Go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and get this down. I'm gonna discard Storm's Wrath. It didn't really do me much good right now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna play play this. Um. Uh, let's see here. Activate. Perforos' ability. I'm gonna put down Dreku Seth. Let's go ahead and give everything the pump and haste. Uh, swing and give four damage to him and three damage to the giant. Yeah, he's he's just dead now. <laughs> he's dead. Doesn't matter what he block. He's dead. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. That's how you do it. With mono red fires. Beaten face. Give him Perforos his respect. Put some respect on his name. Respect. If you enjoyed this video, please remember, like and subscribe as always. See you guys next time.